Delta Marine has a strong reputation for building world-class yachts, and they've been doing so for over 50 years. Today we'll be taking you aboard SOC. She's a Delta 122 and part of a very successful line of motor yachts by the American Shipyard. Her owner began a refit in 2013 by adding brand new MTU engines, which are still under warranty, custom hardtop, and fresh paint. But he wasn't able to finish all the work he had planned due to health issues. Her new owner will most likely want to update some of the soft goods, AV equipment, and navigational electronics. But overall, she's neat and clean on the inside and mechanically sound. A canvas ready to be painted. Keep this in mind as we continue. We'll begin the walkthrough on the aft section of the boat. The swim platform connects to double teak staircases that lead to the fully enclosed aft deck. This area is also referred to as a sunroom and for good reason. Over on the port side is a full wet bar complete with sink, fridge, ice maker, and storage. For those wondering, SOC stands for Silver Oak Cellars, and this wouldn't be a bad place to enjoy some wine. From here you can access both side decks. A passerelle can be used on either side for boarding. Heading up to the bow, you can see there's plenty of room while making your way around. Up at the bow you'll find a huge storage compartment and your windlass with two heavy duty anchors. We're heading aft along the port side deck, back into the sunroom, past that wet bar through a set of French doors into the main salon. Most of the owner's decorative items have been removed from the boat, but just look at the space, roomy and inviting. Immediately when you walk into the port side, you have a 55 inch Samsung flat screen with surround sound. Continuing forward, we'll find cabinetry for your dining items here, well placed near the table which seats eight. The woodworking quality on this boat is exquisite, which can be seen all around, including additional storage that lines the starboard side of the salon. If we move forward along the port side, we enter the full service galley. When you first walk into starboard is a pantry area. The galley has two stainless sinks, Miele dishwasher and ovens, Viking six burner glass cooktop, and a few oversized Sub-Zero fridge and freezers. Continuing to the starboard side, we'll find access to the crew quarters. The crew area offers plenty of room with U-shaped seating, galley, captain's cabin aft, and two cabins forward, both with over-under berths. Before we go down and look at the staterooms, let's continue along the starboard side of the main deck. We'll pass a staircase to the pilot house before entering the day head on the port side. Moving forward, we'll pass another galley access before entering an area that can be used as an office, media room, or even a VIP stateroom because that sofa hides a queen berth. Outboard on the port side is a desk, and you also have an ensuite bath here with head and shower. We're back in the main salon on the starboard side, heading down to the staterooms below. If we move forward from the staircase, we'll enter the full beam master suite. On the port side is a love seat and cedar lined walk-in closet. Let's open that up so you can see how big it is. On the starboard side is a desk flanked by storage with another cedar lined walk-in closet. Forward in the master stateroom will find his and hers heads on either side that are very spacious. Heading aft from the staircase on the port side, we move into a guest stateroom complete with a vanity in front of the side-by-side -side berths, drawer and hanging locker storage, and an ensuite forward. Across from that on the starboard side is your VIP stateroom, again with a vanity in front of the bed, plenty of storage, and also another ensuite located forward. At the bottom of the steps, you'll see a Miele washer dryer. Now let's move up the staircase on the starboard side into the pilot house. Here you have a big seating area to port so the guests can join the action. SOC has been all around the world. This is where those adventures were planned and charted, and her story will certainly continue. If we move aft from here along the starboard side, we'll walk into the Sky Lounge. This is a great place to hang out during a long passage. Large windows offer a lot of natural light, just like the salon. You also have a wet bar up here with sink, fridge, and ice maker. Now let's continue aft onto the boat deck. This is where the tender is stored, with the davit located on the port side. You have giant U-shaped seating to port with dining tables. Conveniently across from that is a Lynx stainless steel propane barbecue grill with sink, prep area, and storage. Another unique addition for this section was the custom shade that was part of the original refit. 
It stretches almost the full beam of the boat to provide shade for the entertaining areas. We move up from here onto the flybridge. On the aft section of the bridge is another entertaining space with massive seating and storage underneath. A few key features of the upper helm are three STID command chairs, a custom hardtop that we mentioned earlier, tremendous visibility, as well as docking stations to both the port and starboard sides. Access to the engine room can be located on the port side deck and here on the swim platform. Immediately as we enter from the swim platform, we find a utility area for maintenance work and tool storage. Continuing forward through a watertight door into the main engine room. SOC has MTU 16V2000s that were installed in 2013 and are still under warranty. Captain David has maintained her for almost a decade, which explains her remarkable condition. SOC has a max speed of 22 knots, but if you pull that back to 10 knots, she has transatlantic range, which is very impressive for a boat of this size, and you can feel confident making that crossing because of Delta's build quality. Thank you for joining us on this walkthrough of SOC, the Delta Marine 122 motor yacht. Contact Kurt Bosshart if you have any questions, or if you'd like to get on board for a personal inspection.